Papli pour non capé. What's up guys, it is a beautiful but hectic day in Manila, the Philippines. We are currently in Makati. Recently we posted a video about us having traditional Filipino breakfast and a lot of people have been commenting, guys, that is not the traditional Filipino breakfast. So, today I'm gonna meet up with my friend Jobet. You guys have all met him before already. And today with Jobet, I'm gonna try free Filipino breakfast favorites. Starting off at the hotel that we're actually staying at, the U Hotels Makati, because they have number one on the breakfast favorites and I'm gonna have a try of it now. Number one on the breakfast I need to try is the Tapsi Log. Um, it's beef. It's garlic fried rice and it's eggs. And I'm super hungry and can't wait to dig in. Oh, and look who came just in time. Just in time to eat your food. <laughs> that looks so good. Yeah. So, is this the right touch or not? I think so. Yes, yeah. and we're doing good. <laughs> Why do Filipinos love to eat this for breakfast? Give me the rundown. Because we like rice, okay, and we believe that eggs are healthy, okay, and Filipinos, as you know, love meat. Yeah, so obviously. Yeah. Ooh, what's this? This is some kind of it's a. It's called achara. Achara. It's to clean your palate. Okay. Mm. It's uh, some kind of a cabbage, right? Papaya. It's papaya in English. Is it papaya? Tell okay. us what papaya in English is. <laughs> Papaya. Yeah, yeah. it's papaya. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know papaya, is it English? It's English, yeah. Oh! <laughs> yeah, well, it's same, same. <laughs> okay. Alright, so how do you eat this? Do you like eat everything just, separate or you just mix it all up? Uh, well, I usually eat it separately. Okay. So there are people who mix it up, but okay. that's kind of weird. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of uh, rice and... Oh, you have to do it Filipino way. Guys, <gasps> <laughs> I, don't know why they, I don't know why they gave me a knife. <laughs> Of course, Filipino way. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna mix it a little bit. I'm gonna take some egg, uh -huh. I'm gonna take some beef, egg, I'm gonna take egg. some rice, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna go in. The meat is really flavorful, juicy, very tender, and just the mixture of getting the rice in there and the egg in there. Uh, the garlic fried rice is amazing, by the way. I can imagine eating this every day for breakfast. This is really good, you know. Usually in Austria, in Europe, and in the United States, you'll have like bacon, maybe sausage for breakfast, mm -hmm. but like nice chunks of beef is something you don't get in Austria or in, in the US for breakfast. But I'm guessing, is this like an a, a everyday thing you'd have in the Philippines for breakfast, or is it more a weekend thing? This is kind of like expensive for everyday. It's more like weekends or special yeah. occasions. Oh, it's a special day for me because I get to eat more Filipino food. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to have a little bit of this because I'm having more breakfast, but I ate all the beef and most of the eggs, so it's a good sign. Good sign. <laughs> Alright, Jobbert. So what are we going for first? Oh, we're going for taho. Taho! Dude, I'm so excited for the taho. And it looked so delicious, so I really, really want to dig into that. I must say, I probably can't eat a whole portion because for some reason, Whenever I eat tofu, I get stomach aches afterwards. Uh -huh. So it's gonna be more of a tasting for me. What is your go-to breakfast? What's your favorite and what do you mostly have for breakfast? Pandesal. Okay. The three in one. All right. <laughs> All right, good, good. And is that, always, is that also your most common breakfast? It's a common breakfast, it's, it's the easiest. Yeah. And it's like comfort food, you know, All right. especially if the pandesal is hot. Ooh. So. Yeah, I'm... Uh, um, lately, I've been a little bit addicted to pande coco, <laughs> hot pande coco, fresh out of the oven. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be paying for that in the gym next week. Let's go get a nice vlog, eh? Yeah. I don't, I don't have a bully bill. Day. Every other day. <laughs> Specifically 9 a.m. Oh, 9 a.m. <laughs> Why do you go for the for breakfast? It's delicious and it's really yum. <laughs> That's good. It's my go-to breakfast. Go-to breakfast. Yes. It's also because it's very cheap. 20 pesos. Oh, okay. 
Thank you. It looks so delicious. Yes. That caramel kind of looks really nice that he's putting on it. So. Ate. How was that? Ito, bal balita ako ito dopi na kamasarap na tao dito eh. You know that it's good if it's like a whole thing. Ah. So some some people are like crab crab. Okay. So as you can see, it's so. So this is like a, a creamy tofu, right? Salamat. <laughs> Thank you. Go. One thing I didn't know is uh, this is warm. It's actually a hot dish. I thought it was cold, so that's surprise number one. Um, I really like to have this huge jug of the tofu where they just scoop it out and mix it all together for you. I don't know, what, what are these little pearls? Uh, taros. Oh, taros. Okay, so I'm gonna get some of the taros. I'm gonna get uh, some of the tofu, some of the caramel sauce. So, this is my very first time trying taho. That is amazing! When I decided to try this for breakfast, I was expecting it to be very, very sweet, but it, it is not that sweet. It's got a nice sweet touch to it. It's very creamy. The pearls give it a nice texture. Mmm! Wow! I actually can see why a lot of people eat this every day for breakfast. It must be kind of healthy because it's not that sugary. But to tofu by itself is actually something healthy. You got a lot of protein. It's low in fat, and yet it's still creamy. So I would like to finish this. But as I was telling Jobit before, when I eat too much tofu, I get stomach aches. It's got something to do with the soy in it. So Jobit, do me the honor of finishing this. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Is that good. your liking? Yeah. It was very good. Let's go for pandesal. <laughs> Before we go and grab the, the next item, which is the pandesal, I want to do a quick stop over at Toby's Estate. All right, coffee, sure. Because it's my favorite coffee place in Manila, and we're right by it. It's just around the corner. So, Jabba, tell me, what are the plans on the channel? I have like four videos to edit, and right. like, how do I manage all of this? <laughs> <laughs> so, it's great. You have like 11 videos yeah and yeah. you're shooting now yeah Man, um, never not filming <laughs> nice it's really hard so you gotta appreciate these people a lot of you guys have been heading over to Instagram and you've been following Pierre uh, Trina Nelly and I on Instagram and you actually can see uh, firsthand that we're literally either always filming or editing these videos so yeah it's, it's a lot of work but you just started out and you blasted past 500 subscribers, now you're close to 700, right? Yes, close to 700. That's amazing. So like in a week you'll be here, what? 1,000. Yeah, hopefully. That is awesome. Thanks to you guys. So everybody head on over uh, to Jobber's channel and leave him a subscribe. Actually, if every one of you that watches this video heads on over to Jobber's channel and hits subscribe, he should have like 5,000 in no time. Can we make it happen, guys? Can we, can we make that happen? Help me. What are you going to do if you hit 5,000 subscribers uh, within September? Oh, um, should I give like a freebie diving license? That is a great idea. So you, you want to do like a giveaway? Yeah, we we'll do a giveaway That's of awesome. diving lessons. Okay, yeah. so guys, if Jobbert manages to hit 5,000 subscribers within September, he's going to give away one diver's license with Jobbert. Perfect. So step number one guys, everybody head over to Jobber's channel, subscribe to his channel, turn on notifications and tell him that you came from Making It Happen. Tell him you're the Making It Happen squad. Leaving the bakery to get uh, three in one coffee from the Sari Sari store. So what, what's a Sari Sari store? Sari Sari means like a mixture of everything here. Okay. So they have like from shampoo to food to juice to coffee and everything. So all sorts of things. So it's like a 7-Eleven? Yes, but the local. A local 7-Eleven. Yes, all and right. cheaper. Cheaper than 7-Eleven? <laughs> well, 7-Eleven is a convenience store. They're open 24 hours. Yeah. 
so more expensive. Oh, I thought they only opened from 7 to 11. Papli ponan kape. Again. Papli ponan kape. Okay. Here. Hello. Uh, Papli ponan kape. <laughs> can, can I have two free one cup, please? Ma kopi, ma kopi, ma kopi, ma kopi. back at the hotel. Hi guys, we're continuing the vlog about top three Filipino breakfast and Mike is not here, but I'm doing a little takeover because I haven't had, well, I had a breakfast, but I'm looking forward to try this breakfast. All right, yeah. are you ready to do it the Filipino way? Yes. I mean, so many people have commented that we have to try this. So many people. Some kind of really curious to know what it is all about. We have the classic 3-in-1 coffee, which is the most common way to drink coffee, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. Super easy, just need some hot water. And everything you need is in here. Pour it in, oopsie. Mix it. Uh, voila, you have your coffee ready. <laughs> You say it. Usually, you drink coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, you have breakfast with your pandasol, dipping into the coffee. Yes. Right? Okay. Pandasol. Oh, by the way, guys, I just told Jobert that I did a quality test with so many pandasols all over the Philippines, and I have to say, 90% of the bakeries that we visited had really, really nice pandasol. Oh wow. Actually, you have your own part. Yeah. Mm. This tastes like a dessert for breakfast. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah? Oh yeah. Mm. That is a satisfying way to start the day, right? <laughs> Sometimes we don't trust the panindir yet, so we clean it with coffee. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Oh, this is a very simple way to start the day while we are having a coffee. I love it. Oh, oh. Everyone is saying that. Okay. Thank you so much. That is so <laughs> nice. Thank you very much. Oh, that is so awesome, guys. Oh Check it out. God. It's an Anthony Bourdain T-shirt. I was, I was saying like yesterday or two days ago that uh, I was very sad when we lost Anthony Bourdain and that I'm a huge fan of everything he did. And I got an Anthony Bourdain T-shirt. That is so awesome. Thank oh. you so much. Mike met some new friends. Let's see. Yeah. But we'll be back in a few weeks. Yeah, we'll be back in a few weeks actually. I'm thinking like November. November, December. Yeah, we have to thank you guys around if you want to focus on Philippines because that's amazing. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, smash that thumbs up. As I mentioned before, uh, head on over to Jobber's channel and subscribe, get him to the 5,000. You're gonna want that scuba diving certification, so go do it right now. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Be sure to follow all three on Instagram. All the Instagrams are linked down below. Shoot us a message and comment on this video. What is your favorite Filipino breakfast? Yeah. And what is the breakfast that you like to eat every single day? I will see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day. Goodbye. Mwah.